I was in the army, I got a dollar a day, 30 bucks a month with room and board. I never had so much money. And I didn't know what to do with all of it. I ate a whole pint of ice cream by myself. It was only 15 cents. And army work was easier than working in a sawmill, off bearing green sycamore cross ties. Like I said before, all we did was learn to march and step, how to shoot a rifle, do the manual of arms, salute, live outdoors in a tent, and hike. A lot. <laughs> carrying everything with you. And when I went to Europe as a first scout in the infantry, I still did the same things, only with somebody trying to kill me, both day and night. But there were compensations. One of which was called short arm inspection. <laughs> this was done to see if you had venereal disease. They told us you got this by consorting with low type women. Whatever the hell that is. <laughs> hell, we never even saw any women, low life or high. The nearest we got to sex was being screwed by the people in charge of the damned outfit. <laughs> But anyway, we had lots of short arm inspections. Whenever we had one, we were told to line up in the street with nothing on but shoes, socks, raincoats, and helmet liners. <laughs> Guy would come along and step in front of us and say, skin it back and milk it down. <laughs> I'm glad to say they acted like they enjoyed their work. <laughs> but then so did we. Most things work out in life for the best, I've always found. But God, I still miss those short arm inspections. <laughs> And had a swollen gland. Little love the scripture, did he understand? Till a woman led him to the promised land aboard the Victory, Victory O. Adam and Evil and a bushel of figs meant nothing to Nelson, who was keeping pigs, till a woman showed him the various rigs aboard the Victory, Victory O. Softer than a new laid egg, too poor for loving and ashamed to beg, till Nelson was taken by the dancing leg aboard the Victory Victorio. So he up and did up his little tin trunk, he took to the ocean on his English junk, turning like the hourglass in his lonely bunk aboard the Victory Victorio. Frenchmen saw him a-coming there With the one-piece thigh and the valentine hair And the safety pin sleeve and the occupied air Aboard the Victory Victorio Now you all remember the message he sent As an answer to Hamilton's discontent There were questions asked about it in the Parliament Aboard the Victory Victorio Bury the sicker runs the juice. Think of good Lord Nelson and avoid self abuse. For the empty sleeve was no mere excuse. Aboard the Victory Victorio. England expects was the motto he gave when he thought of little Emma out on Biscay's wave. And remembered working on her like a caddy slave. Aboard the Victory Victorio. The first great lord in our English land To honor the Freudian command For a cast in the bush is worth two in the hand Aboard the Victory Victorio Now the Frenchman shot him there as he stood In the rage of battle in a silk lined hood And he heard the whistle of his own hot blood Aboard the Victory Victorio Stiff 
on a pillow with a phallic air. Nelson starlights in Trafalgar Square reminds the British what once they were aboard the Victory Victorio. Women in the Nelson way, there'd be fewer frigid husbands every day. And many more heroes on the Bay of Biscay. <laughs> Aboard the victory, victory. like to talk about the good old days, politicians especially, and some old people when they're talking to the younger generation. If my memory is any good, anyone who talks about the good old days probably wasn't there, or is a liar, a fool, or suffering from senility, or all of the above, especially politicians. Politicians, some member of President Roosevelt and Truman's cabinet said soldiers could not fraternize with German civilians. He meant girls. Violators would be court-martialed, he said. He was certainly a brilliant man. Our commanding officer at the time was a good man, nearly as good as Sergeant Murray, and got the company together and read the new rule to us. He said he would not go out looking for us fraternizing, but if we, if he was taking a walk and fell over us fraternizing, <laughs> he would have to do something about it. He then told us where he took walks. <laughs> you don't find many officers like him. Well, I had a girlfriend named Elsa and uh, who had been in the German army in the occupation in Yugoslavia. She would stand guard with me, especially after dark when there weren't any lights. One night I was on guard, my rifle on my sling on my shoulder, a cigarette in my mouth, my left arm around Elsa's neck, and a bucket of beer in my right hand, when it, which Elsa's little brother had just brought us from the brewery, when around the corner popped up a jeep with my commanding officer. I had to do some quick thinking. I didn't want to steal or spill the bucket of beer. So I just raised my left arm off Elsa's neck and saluted my officer with my right or my left hand, cigarette in my mouth and bear in my right hand. He saluted back, laughing hard, and kept going. Politicians. 